Hello, Jamal here and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2 where uh, we have some uh, mysterious transmission coming our way in my quarters, so let's see what that is about. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Save our world. Looks like we better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. Alright, and uh, I have no other options here. I hope this stops soon, that I am forced to go somewhere. I do really like the story here, but I'm kind of anxious to get everything opened up and uh, do what I want, because that's very much changed here in XCOM 2, that you have that freedom. You're just not going from mission to mission, but you can actually choose where to go. I guess that's up ahead now. Commander, our current position is here, just outside Resistance Headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local Resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Contact the resistance in the Black Side region. Research resistance communications. Fly to Black Side region. Make contact. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Okay. Distress beacon. Reward scientist. Five days to investigate. Commander, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in East Asia have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Okay. I guess we will. I guess we will investigate. Okay. Commander. While we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. Okay, so uh, these scans were the ones that the hacking was uh, hacking was targeting. So we have mission for the advent black site in the new Arctic, and uh, we are we have a uh, five days here. So I guess there will be eventually a choice like. Uh, what to scan, and I can't do everything, I guess. It's... I, I was expecting the modular weapons to be ready soon, but uh, there's actually... Uh, only now the days are passing. I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. And uh, modular weapons is really cool, because we have picked up some stuff, so uh, we have a chance here to uh, actually start... Uh, Start using the stuff we have picked up. 
We've had the troops digging through scrap piles and looting corpses and at this point it's safe to assume they're on a constant vigil for anything we could use to improve our gear. All the raw materials in the world won't mean much if we can't find a use for them, but I think this modular weapon system is a good start. Having pushed our existing designs about as far as I thought possible, the integration of a few key alien components provided that much needed stability we've been looking for. With these modifications in place we should be able to at attach larger upgrades for even more firepower. The troops will like that, Shen. Magnetic weapons available. Commander, researching the advent moral weapons has allowed us to reverse engineer their system to our own use. Any weapon upgrades found in the field cannot be attached directly to our soldiers' weapons to provide tactical bonuses. Excellent. Um. I think I will hold on to the story missions, uh, story researches a bit. Uh, I think I want the hybrid materials uh, to get a better armor, probably. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. And uh, then go do something else. Working at the Advent clinics, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the alien's arrival. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed. Perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. Commander? Hello, Commander. Work is well underway. But it will be some time yet before my research is complete. I kind of wanted to come here because you had so much talk there, but uh, I didn't want to uh, click anywhere to make uh, make that uh, that talk disappear. New orders, Commander. Um, engineers, there's one. The inventory, uh, still can't do anything with that. Facilities, there's nothing we can do before we uh, get that debris out. Items. I can't build anything yet, and I don't think I want a smoke grenade. Uh, but or do I? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not yet. I I want to save my supplies. I was actually thinking when I recruited that one soldier that uh, maybe. I if this is what it was like in the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Why do you, Why do you start talking when I leave? <laughs> Why are you not doing that talk while I browse the things in the engineering or in the science lab? Well, anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's go look at the soldiers. So we have a couple of them uh, gravely wounded. So uh, let's go take a look at, for example, the sharpshooter and uh, the weapon upgrade. This available slot, so we could uh, could put in a scope. We could put in an expanded magazine. We could put in a hair trigger. We have two expanded magazines actually. And a hair trigger, when firing, the soldier has 5% chance that the shot will not cost an action for the active turn. Wow, 5% chance, that's very nice. And of course, increased aim, that, that is just good. But I think I will see who will come to the next mission and then, uh, then do these equips. Yeah. Definitely, I will. Uh, I will do it ten. I guess there are all the any any weapon takes the same upgrade, but then it just it just looks different. I really like this system. Yeah. The and then I, I guess I can pass the weapons. When I hmm. when I put. Um, upgrade there I can't take it out I guess yeah I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the that's how it works supply drop 12 days okay let's go continue the scan what's the gain intel well I'm not going not going to fly back there right now but just wondering about it. Dr. Anastasia Soloyova. Solo. Solovia. Solovia. Yeah, okay. Scientist. 
I think I said it almost right, almost right way at the beginning. We picked up a research beacon still broadcasting from somewhere nearby and deployed a squad directly to investigate. They successfully located a number of survivors, one of whom possess scientific skill and expressed interest in joining XCOM research team. So I actually got this without doing any mission, is that it? Wow. I will make sure they are put to good use. Okay, that's awesome. So now I guess I have to gain intel. So I'm gaining 150 supplies from here. I guess I need more regions and I will have more income. I just wonder do I do I need to do the black sites before I get any further? Oh, I get some loot. I get some loot from uh, from clearing clearing the debris. Uh, Eighty-five. I uh, I think I want to go a little tactic school right away because I can, uh, for example, increase the squad size, which I think it's uh, the most important upgrade there. And uh, I have six out of twelve power, so. Uh, yeah, I think that will be the first one. Right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Um, there's currently an unstaffed engineer who can now. Uh, yes, yes I can. Yes, I want. Construction speed by fifty percent. So I guess I guess I could uh, put even more engineers there if uh, if I had some. Okay, so it looks like I'm kind of uh, on hold here with uh, with the deck. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's continue. Continue gaining intel. These findings will likely prove crucial right. for our ongoing efforts, Commander. Excellent. With the limited resources available to outfit our troops, up until now they've had to make uh, with whatever makeshift armor and managed to piece together for them from various scrap metals. Relying on a method that might otherwise seem outdated, we have developed a means of producing a multi-layered nanofiber weave, capable of withstanding direct impacts as well as any traditional armor. Without the added weight, our troops will still have to exercise caution, even the nanofiber has its limits. It may be best to add to our forces who rely on agility over pure stopping power. In any case, imagine our soldiers will be pleased to see any improvements over their current equipment. E equipment? <laughs> Little typo there. Uh, new item available. Nano. Okay, so a nanoscale vest and uh, then I can research bladed armor. Excellent. That will cost us a lot of supplies, which I don't yet have. Uh, now the now the times are so high that I think I will think I will do these. So uh, let's uh, just wonder will I will I do the advent officer first or will I do the resistance communications first? Because right now nothing is happening. There's no danger. The game is kind of not in motion yet. So it's kind of there's a chance for me to actually do stuff here now that uh, uh, kind of stall stall the time a bit, if you will. I'm sure that will change in just a just a day from here or something. But uh, uh, with complete study of this new specimen, we may be able to develop the psionic capabilities. Okay, that can wait. But uh, let's do the resistance. I just wonder if these, uh, these somehow somehow put the story in motion when I do these story missions. So which one first? Let's do the research communications. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Right. So we're getting a. Uh, they're getting no uh, no missions here. Although we have allies oh. scattered in cities throughout the globe, who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations, the aliens are actively pursuing them. 
It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. The Resistance Council has a new high priority mission information. Operation Shampling Mask. Extract VIP from Advanced City. Dr. Jin Quan, scientist, 118 Intel. There's always a chance I could just ignore this. There's no difficulty notice here, but uh, at this stage I'm not going to pass any mission. I've kind of anxious to actually go into the tacti tactical mode again, so let's do this mission. Um, let me just see who I pick up. So, uh, is it so that I don't have a... Uh, don't have a specialist up. That's a that's a little uh, that's a little um, worrying. The difficulty is easy, so we are probably okay. I think the flashbang is fine, but uh, I think we definitely want to have. Uh, a med kit, so maybe maybe our rookie here, Lex, will uh, will carry it. Um, the sniper could probably use the aim. Um, the shotgun. Wait. What's thing that? Are you telling me I can't customize the weapons anymore? Are you, are you serious? So I can't get back from the screen. Oh, I can. Okay. I couldn't get back from that screen before. But it's really... Maybe maybe there is a way to actually do it there, but... I am not sure. So anyway. So this... Why isn't this available there? So I'm thinking of giving the... Giving the sniper as much aim as possible. So, uh... Can be replaced but not reused. Do I want to give the scope to someone else instead of the sniper because the sniper has high aim anyway? No, I think I want the, want the sniper to have a lot of aim. And uh, I think. I put something here. I'm not sure about the expanded magazine, but uh, this hair trigger is um, even a chance to have two shots with the shotgun. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. Hmm. Let's let's put it there. Let's save, uh, let's save the expanded magazine a bit. Although... The... Um, there's free shots here. I think I will uh, leave and see what else I get before I assign any, any more of those. Okay, so now we can go back here. In the, in the previous mission you could, couldn't get back from that screen, but... Wait, where is the... Ah, okay, ah, there are missions. I was like, where the heck is the mission? Did I miss it? <laughs> okay. So we have enhanced... I can see the scope there, and uh, I guess I can see the hair trigger there as well. We have the flashbang. Flashbang to someone else, probably, than the sniper. Hmm. Flashbang. 
Uh, the sniper will uh, stay back a bit. I guess uh, I guess he will he will carry it. We definitely want it. Okay. Please. So finally, let's get on to the mission. I planned originally to always start the video with the mission, but uh, actually I will probably do it from now on because I can actually go back from this, go back from that squad squad screen and save, and uh, possibly take a break from recording and go to the videos and all that, and then come back. The spokesman gave us the location of a VIP stranded somewhere near our AO. He'd like us to secure the area, rendezvous with the target, and provide an escort out of there. I don't think the resistance would ask if it wasn't important. Advent Patrol Zone. The same area we were. We need to get the VIP to the extraction point. So I guess we will start with the VIP. Or will we first need to find the VIP and then... Then uh, extract. I guess we'll find out. Okay, we have... Wow, that's a long Minus way. Five, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. I'd be happy to apply my talents to something Advent productive. already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Right, okay. And I have 12. 12 turns. There's always a time limit. Wait. Is that David? Yes. We, there's our, our faces out there. That's fantastic. And I guess that's some sort of a store. Uh, all the way up there. I'm thinking the roof of this building would be great to uh, attack this this uh, this area here, but. Uh, First, we'll probably run into some enemies all already in here. Let's go see if we can see something, uh, something inside. Headed there now. Advent forces on the ground. Yeah, was kind of worried about that. And of course, they spread out. So the sectoid went all the way in there. Will we use a grenade right away or something? Hmm. We'll, we'll have to move our sniper. So I might be throwing grenade with the sniper now. This he might be uh, might be on this roof here for quite some time after we deal with these two. So uh, let's do this. This might even take the guy out. I wouldn't mind that, but of course it doesn't. Free damage. Um, let's uh, finish off with our rookie. Good job, Lex. The sectoid will probably be reanimating there. Of course, there's always the chance for the mind control. And uh, we do need to protect our uh, our VIP here. So how do we how do we do that the best? Hunger down here. we can come up the up to the roof from there as well we definitely want to go to the roof that's uh, that's one thing not too worried about cover against uh, against the sectoid Confirmed. so probably going for overwatch here instead of uh, 
instead of taking these uh, bad shots against full cover. But I'm not going going out into open because he still has that blaster blaster weapon thing. Mm, yeah, I would really like to be there, but uh, well, I'm not. So. Um, On the other hand, kind of for the next turn, would I actually go for something something better for the next turn instead of going for Overwatch this turn? You know what, I will do that. On the other hand, I can do that from... I can reach that corner from here as well. Next turn. So going here and Overwatch is probably probably a good thing. So overwatch, overwatch. I hope it move I hope that thing moves this way. Nope. There comes the mind control attempt. Okay, don't shoot us. Alright. Man oh man. What is that? Ah, oh, right, hang on. Doors. Mm. And I can't actually reach the spots I was thinking of reaching. So uh, let's shoot a grenade. Let's take as much of its cover out as possible. Just free damage, but it's out into open, so uh, we'll have a couple of shots on it. Sadly, I should have positioned the sniper. Well, I don't know, maybe. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's come with uh, come with the rookie and uh, see if Lex can do another crit. She can. removed because that one was removed. Do I have a move now? No. Um, probably want to go up there or do I actually want to go up here? I'm on the move. A pistol overwatch. Yeah, why don't you come this way as well? Ten turns. It was easy mission, so maybe six or seven enemies in total. Heading to that location. Let's get you somewhere, uh, somewhere safe and hunker down. Let's join. There. Running. Take you there. Uh, there's probably no points in uh, overwatching. I'll, I will. I will hunger down just out of a, uh, out of good habit. Right. Now I will reveal one. Uh, a whole lot of a whole lot of space so I think I will uh, do the scouting with the rookie and let's do it I'll have to go there uh, I'm thinking I will have to choose that side or this side and there's a uh, this enemy tower there so maybe I will uh, I will go towards that side a bit Thinking that they would be covering the area with the patrols on this side. Hmm. So it looks like I might be able to get my uh, sniper to a good position. So, uh, what's my plan of moving here then? 
Is it going from this side and up? Or am I f do I need to go from... Uh, is there like a ladder there maybe? So I can't, can't even get up from this side. That might be it. So I, I'm kind of targeting this platform here. So uh, let's take the sniper. Sniper there and uh, ready for... Uh, Overwatch. Nine turns is pretty ex pretty uh generous actually after all these all what I've seen and this uh we have a whole lot of map to cover. That's one thing. But... Guess I will uh guess I will put an ambush or overwatch here. Just in case we see someone. <laughs> Don't really feel like going down with anyone just yet. We probably do want to take some. Uh, want to take some um, dash moves here. Eventually, what is that? What? Nice pistol shot, holy hell! What a pistol shot! That's... And we have a perfect ambush here, fantastic! Really lucky, really lucky! The officer is down! Four damage! Oh, almost, almost perfect. Nice. That pistol shot. I think I want to have my gunslinger. Oh, okay. I thought, uh, I thought suddenly, suddenly the time limit goes down to four or something. Along those lines. Um... What's the shot with the sniper from here? 80 to uh, to health. I think that's a shot I want to take before uh, before doing anything else. I uh, do have the ranger who can go and uh, do a slashing shot shot there as well. But uh, he, he would be in uh, possibly exposing someone else. Actually, let's go. Uh, It's a bit, bit tricky here, but let's go down with uh, with Lex here, just to see if the if there's something something around that we have to worry about. The yard is now more open to us. Um, Also interested, does the officer have some loot there that I will, I will have to go and pick up? I also wonder what... Uh, I don't think there's any loot. I wonder what these things do. What these things do... Uh, these guard towers, now that we are not in concealment. Nice shot. Enemy eliminated. Okay, so four targets down, maybe two or three left if if the same if the same thing still apply that uh, there's about six or seven enemies. Uh, you know what? Reloading isn't a bad option here. But we have uh, have a such Lock a good chance. Even even if some enemies might walk in, and we would have a good ambush. Uh, reloading right now is uh, because we have a uh, because we have the opportunity of uh, nothing happening. Let's leave Sam there for at least just a mo at least for a moment. Couple of guys from there, so maybe there will be more here. But 
but uh, let's go there and see if we can see something. It's a really big open area. It's kind of uh, kind of scary, but it looks like we have a kind of clear path towards that. But uh, I'm thinking there's enemies there, so uh, let's keep our sniper on alert. And um, I guess that, I guess that should be okay. That end up running. Running through an area I was was not uh, on before. Um, I think I will just go to the blue blue moves here. Uh, you can stay here because you can always dash, and the sniper is still covering you. Nice. Now let's get some shots in. They are quite far from us. So they didn't even get overwatch shots. That's that's too bad. And having the having the sniper in right here would be, would be perfect because we would have a flanking shot, but uh, even from here with the height advantage the orts are what's not pretty good. I'm thinking of grenading that corner somehow, because I think I can damage both. So let's move our grenadier into a better cover to do that. These might be the last enemies we have. Um, the question is, can I take them out? So do I need to worry about... Uh, actually, I don't see any possibilities for full cover, so maybe just let's forget what I said. Now let's go there and let's uh, throw in nice, nice grenade that will damage them both, breaking the walls. I can't exactly see if the sectoid is actually damaged. I think it is now, but uh, I can't see this red, so I'm not sure, but I think that will hit him. At least it will remove the walls and we will have some flanking, oh, well, flanking shots because they don't have any cover. All right, and even did four damage on the. How the how the same grenade can do different damage on? Well, I guess it can. Okay, I think we have a great shot. Yeah, that's almost almost guaranteed shot there. So I uh, know uh, we can have some have some fun here. I think because this might be the might be the last ones we have. Uh, no, I I, will, I won't go I won't go out into open just in case there's a surprise enemy coming. Um, so who do we who do we give the kill for? Sniper already got one. I think uh, I think our ranger deserves it. Or not? Looks like we have to uh, have to do it with someone else. And uh, no trigger from the hair trigger. Um, on the other hand, if the sniper would be on overwatch, that would be a good as well, if there are more enemies left. So, uh, let's uh, throw in one more with, uh, with the rookie. Target down. Well, would you look at that? Ah, okay, there's loot. Let's uh, move this guy forward, and actually, I was... Just I was talking about an overwatch, but uh, uh, we can also... Hmm, will they have, okay, there's, there's no destroy everyone, so I don't know exactly how many enemies there will be. I'll also need to move eventually. Eventually there I can't wait forever. So I think uh, this turn is the good, good move to take our sniper down and uh, join the others. very short turn there might might be that they don't even have anyone anymore um, okay okay right there's a there's a ladder right up there uh, why don't you go there and take the blue move and uh, let's see if there's anyone there someone will have to go pick those up but This might might actually be as uh, simple as it 
it feels right now, but uh, this is XCOM, so anything can happen. Affirmative. Moving out. Mm. Don't want to go and pick those up with uh, with the yellow move because I said you uh, you never know. There's no one on the roof, so that much is clear. Position confirmed. So uh, you can already go up there, and uh, the sniper can dash as well. Okay, there's no cover. All ah, right, there's no cover there. Hmm. There might be enemies here, so I'm, I'm not going there. That might actually reveal them. So I will, uh, I will just go up Already there. there. That won't give me good shots next turn, but uh, that's okay. Okay, I think, uh, I think we are already, already out in the open here. Done with, uh, done with the mission, but. So, uh, eleven core, all right. Got something new. So uh, now, if we take uh, take the VIP here, it could be this extracted. Extract all the units. Rolling. Are there more enemies there? Closing on target position now. On my way. On gates. <laughs> left, left this guy uh, out in the open there. All right. Rope out to Sky Ranger. So, uh. If I put everyone there, they will. But this means just this guy, right? I'm out of here. Wait, <laughs> I thought it was this. <laughs> you could act. You could actually uh, check uh, check who you uh, who you have there. I, I can't overwatch when I'm in a... Okay, well, end turns in. Yeah, yeah. So what's there a... Uh, let's just call Sky Ranger, okay. Just in time. Hey, show up. I'm gone. Well, that was pretty easy peasy. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was actually <laughs> that was actually super easy. Uh, but I don't know. I the, I was still using using the different classes quite a bit, so I'm not sure. I'm not comfortable enough to take some uh, use those as too much of a rookie training mission. But at least one rookie each each of these missions is okay. Maybe even two. Two especially when we get to the stage where we have five or six. Uh, guys, but uh, probably won't have easy missions anymore, then, yeah. Alright, so now I will continue this video from here on until the next mission begins, and then I will start... And then uh, start the next video with, with the new mission. So let's see who, what, uh, what new class we have. So we have a specialist, that's very good, that's what we wanted. But uh, we need promotions before we can go into that combat route. Sniper. So now, now things get interesting. Allow Overwatch to trigger with squad sights, alright? Or return fire. When targeted by enemy fire, automatically fire back with your pistol once per turn. I'm thinking... Um, I will probably do a bit of both. But uh, do I want 
Square decided Overwatch is that much. I had pretty long distance Overwatches even even on this one, and that was completely fine. I think I I will go with uh, kind of a gunslinger way with uh, with Sam here, and then maybe maybe test out the different path with someone else. With the Grenadier, we can do blast padding, which means bonus point of armor. 66% less damage from explosive attacks or shredding attacks. Cannon attack shred armor. I haven't seen any enemies with armor yet, but I saw them in the preview videos and they were really nasty. I think I definitely want at least one shredder in the team to take that armor out. So we found the Elerium core and we got the Jin Quan, so an additional scientist. Commander, my expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Well, that was pretty easy, so uh, I'm not feeling too, too uh, proud about that. More, more research speed. Attention, low supplies. Supplies are used to purchase weapons and armor for your soldiers, and the facilities upgrades that you install on the Avenger. To gain more supplies, sell items at the black market. Sell only what you must, that most items have some value to feature research. Establish contact with regions around the world, raise your regular income. I've never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. I was thinking about the same thing, Bradford, but you could pick up... You, you, sti you, you still have the same habits as before. You always interrupt me. No talk about the snakes in the toilet, please. Many missions, like supply raids or quarrel ops, can offer large amounts of supplies as rewards. These missions will appear regularly as you pass time, and then we do have to remember those uh, hacking, hacking attempts. So we have to use the hacker a lot to uh, get those supplies from the guard towers. Alright, so four days until the next one next one comes up. How are our soldiers? So six days, ten days. Alright. But now we have one of each class at least, and then just three rookies to uh, get up. And I think the Quarilla Tactic School will give us uh, at least this purchasable upgrade that uh, I can use to... Um, I can use to get... Um, Oh, I can use to get uh, uh, train a rookie to be in certain class. Uh, seven days reward is supplies. Uh, destroyed convoy. Avenger plotting we don't have forward. anything else to do, so I think I will definitely do that. I'm not sure what the intel is actually doing. I haven't yet seen the use for that. I guess it's coming. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Resistance communications research complete. Resistance contacts available. Although conceptually the ideas of, of establishing a radio-based communication system for the purposes of organizing resistance movement is nothing new. Uh, Harkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars, what we hope to accomplish here is still no small task. The aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals, with a vast array of technology and resources at their disposal. However, working in close collaboration with Chief Engineer Shen, we've begun to salvage some of the aliens' own communications equipment from within Avenger itself. From studying the surviving log files, we've discovered an astounding number of simultaneous communications be being distrib distributed through the network at any given time. This has proven to be the key to our proposed solution. With so much traffic flowing through the alien network, it should be relatively easy for us to disguise our own transmissions among theirs. Using the Avenger as our central hub, we can establish a communications network linking resistance outputs around the globe. Every new contact we establish should organize and strengthen the movement as a whole. New facility, resistance comms, probably need to build that then. New research available, resistance rate and then we have the contacts. Resistance comms facility increases the number of regions that we can make contact with. Uh, 
Uh, I wonder if, I, if we need more resistance comms than one. So five days on the resistance radio. By replicating the communications equipment we've developed on the Avenger, we should be able to establish ground-based relays to further spread our reach. With wider coverage, it'll be easier for us to reach some of those outlying regions far from our HQ. Um, so that's one order of the Advent Officer. I'm thinking of... Um, I'm thinking of actually passing that one for the resistance radio. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. All right. Apparently my predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. Yeah. To be honest, I kind of miss Val in a bit, so uh, hopefully she's out there somewhere. What do I do for you, Commander? Mm, so can I uh, can I take some Commander, of these I out? Need more help on the engineering team before I can start ah. clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. Recruit, you say? Recruit, you say? Hmm. We could have saved a lot of time there's a recruit soldier, but there's no recruit here. Their language. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Just continue scanning here for the for the mission in hand. Just said word. The new resistance communications network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. New India. Communication systems are online. We can now make contact with the local resistance in New India. Once region is contacted, any region linked to that region become immediately available for contact. Okay, and then we have the new Arctic. Now that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. Yeah. I'm just wondering that, uh, should we do this mission now to get some supplies? We only have 21. On the other hand, if we make contact, that will give us, uh, at least in theory, some uh, steady income. But I think I want to wait this, because that that Black Sight mission is not easy, if that Black Sight mission is the one I saw in the preview videos. Okay, right, I get the supplies right away. Not even have to do a mission. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Okay, was that? Yeah, I. Okay, that was a, that was a little different. Uh, I think I will still make a make a contact with uh, with the new Arctic instead of New India. Kind of uh, contacting the Black Side region. I don't have to go to the Black Side mission yet. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Eat intel. We'll be up and ah, right. Okay. So the intel is the cost for making these contacts. So you can always keep on uh, scanning, so you can uh, gather intel if if you have nothing else to do. Setting course for sector one, the Arctic. Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. I want to go to Finland. <laughs> that's uh, that's far, far away, but uh, I want to go there. Who I, I don't care about saving the world or any of this, I want to go to Finland. Well, anyway, <laughs> we'll see how that goes, but let's uh, continue scanning this. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, 
For 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved Multiple crumble. Multiple radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today... You've got incoming on approach! Your signal's breaking up. ...outline territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you! Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again! We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. <laughs> Operation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. ready to move on the resistance haven currently under siege by the aliens give the word and we'll move out <sighs> retaliation whatever that big thing was that didn't look too friendly we'll need to respond quickly to prevent further civilian casualties Uh, it's, it's right here. It's right here in the East Asia. Yeah, we gotta do it. Setting course for East Asia. So who do we send in? We have a sniper. Just a moment, do we have another specialist? Uh, Bruno is already a healer. So a uh, heal come. Uh, utility items available. So let's take a med kit. Mm, the cannon. That's that's my best. I, I need my best guys for this. So uh, let's double check who, who else I have. Yeah, this this is the best squad I have. Yeah, this is this is the best I have. Difficulty easy. I don't know. I don't know. I guess this is a uh, their retaliation is the is the oh, Operation Death Strike. What's with the death names game? Alright, this is the squad we will go with, so uh, join me next time for my first retaliation mission. These are the guys we are going in with. We, uh, I think we need some luck. We'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.